Hi, I'm Peggy Wilkins. Have you ever wanted the right verse to come to mind at the right time, but sometimes it just doesn't come together? It happened to me the other day. I was on my way to Northport and was going to make a left-hand turn, but got into the left lane a little bit early, too early for the driver behind me, and so he tailgated me. Did not make me happy, but I was patient, and I put on my left turn signal to let him know what I was about to do, but still, he got right up close to me. Eventually, the left turn lane came up, and I got over it while this driver just stepped on the gas and roared past, offering me a rather graphic hand gesture, and I, in return, fortunately remembered the gift of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, kindness, goodness, and self-control. Among these, there is no law. I heard a story many years ago from a theology mentor of mine. Now, he didn't know he was my mentor, and I'd never met him, but I listened to him every day on the radio. The story goes that there were two teenagers on a date together, and the girl just thought the world of this boy. I mean, he was the guy of her dreams. And they'd been out for some time to the movies, and then they were on their way home, holding hands still in the car. But he didn't go to her home to drop her off. Instead, he pulled into a nice secluded place where they could be alone and intimate. After a little bit of hormone rushing, he whispered to her, you know, it's time. And she said, time for what? He said, you know, if you'd love me, you would. And she said, oh, no. He said, why? What? Are you afraid of what your father would do to you? And she said, no. I'm afraid of what I would do to my father. Sometimes that's what I need to remember, too. Are my actions something my father would want me to do. With the pandemic and the social unrest of the world, all that's going on in the media constantly pelting us with all of this negative stuff, I admit, I've grown impatient. And so I remember, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, faithfulness, goodness, kindness, and self-control. I don't always remember them all, but I do get to them. Some of the fruits come easily. Some take a lot of work. A few weeks ago, a columnist, Harvey McKay, wrote a story about a woman who was on her way into the grocery store and had put her three-year-old into the shopping cart. They came to the cookie aisle, and the little girl asked for a cookie. Her mother said no. The little girl began to whine and fuss. The mother quietly said, Now, Monica, we have just half of the aisles left to go. Don't be upset. It won't be long. Well, they came to the candy aisle. The little girl began to beg for some candy. When the mother said she couldn't have any candy, the little girl began to, to cry. The mother said, there, there, Monica, only two more aisles to go, and then we'll be checking out. When they got to the checkout, the little girl threw a tantrum, a big tantrum. The mother patiently said, Monica, we'll be through this checkout in just five minutes, and then we'll go home and have a nice nap. A man followed them out of the store and approached the woman and said, ma'am, I commend you. I couldn't help but notice how patient you were with little Monica. Her mother laughed. My little girl's name is Tammy. I'm Monica. The world has tested us, our patience, our gentleness, our self-control since the beginning of time. Now it seems worse now, and I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because we are the ones going through it. Or maybe it's because we've grown accustomed to the luxury of immediate gratification and now we have been put on hold. Patience and goodness, kindness 
The fruits of the Spirit take cultivating in order to become ripe. Cultivating our relationship with the Holy Spirit. And as we cultivate that relationship, we create habits of a Christ-filled life. Impatience can be turned into patience. Complaining changed into gratefulness for our many blessings. Our fussing about sheltering in place can be changed into remembering the wonderful times we had on trips past or trips yet to come. I'll tell you though, it's gonna be hard when somebody tailgates my car again, but I promise I will try to remember that instead of getting angry or impatient, I will say a prayer. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Oh yes, and patience. There's no law against any of these. Can you beat that? It's good to follow the word. Let's pray. We thank you, Father for all your many blessings, and especially for the fruits of the Spirit. Help us all to display them so that others may see your glory. In the name of Christ, amen. Have a wonderful day.